Hello everyone, this is Rochelle, and today I want to bring you an updated skincare routine. The first one that I did, if you want to see that, I'll link it below. Um, it was an all natural kind of situation, so really all natural products. I'm still using mostly all natural products, but I've had to alter a few things. I'm just getting old. That's all it is. I'm getting old. I need just a little bit more powerful things. So um, if I find more things that are more um, natural, then I will probably substitute. But for right now, I had to up the ante a little bit. Here we go. First, um, same situation, my black soap. I am. I don't think I'm going to stop using that ever. Um, this works for me. And I know you guys are like, what in the world? You keep telling you on this dark soap and it's got dye in it, blah, 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 blah. I read to you guys the ingredients of the black soap on the other videos. All natural goodness in here. However, there may be some dye in here. Um, but it has not made any difference whatsoever on my skin, okay? I, I'm okay with it. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Because I've tried this. And this is supposedly the all natural soap. This is by Dudu Os. <laughs> Can't be right. Dudu Osen? Do Dudu. The point here is um, my face broke out so badly with this. Then I said, I said, okay, well maybe it's just that brand. So I went to the beauty supply store and I found some other brand. It was brown and it smelled so, I oh, don't know. Anyway, the same exact thing broke me out, okay? I'm sticking with this. It works for me. I like the dye. As far as my microderm a situation, I used to use the microderm cloths. Again, it's in the video. All the stuff's in the video. I just got tired of it. I just got tired of it. Um, I have found that I have to wash my face twice a day, period, or I will break out twice a day. It, I got to the point where I was trying to skip, and it just, if I did that even once, break out. I need this to be as streamlined as possible, you guys. So I, I had to figure out something else. I cut that brand was getting on my nerves. It was just getting on my nerves. So anyway, it works, you guys. If you take the time with your face and all that, it, it still works. I do recommend it. But for me, I just got sick of doing it every day, twice a day like that. So anyway, I just wash regularly with my hands. I have the Clarisonic. I have all kind of things I could be using, a little face brush. Clarisonic breaks me out. I don't know. Has anyone else had that issue with the Clarisonic? I don't, I don't know. I, it's not the, I tried different brushes. Um, I don't know. It, it, I mean, the big, huge ones. Maybe it's all the stuff coming to surface. I don't know. Just stay in there. Because it, ooh. The point here is, um, I don't use that. Okay, so what I use, just my hands, just circular motions. Just go on in. And if I have makeup on, of course, I use my cloths to take it off. You know, the makeup removal cloth. Just generic brands what I use. And then I go in. I, I usually do it twice until I kind of feel like a squeaky clean. And that's probably not good because all the oil is gone. But I just want to make sure that um, the makeup is off my face. Okay, I just have to do it that way. That's what I do. Okay, so after that, and I know you guys had an issue with me using toilet paper for my face. And a lot of you had issues with it. Well, not a lot of you. Some of you do it. Um, but you were saying that these little, uh, little traces. Uh, tissue paper on your face. Here's the trick. This is what I do because I still use toilet paper, okay? You can't get the bougie toilet paper, boo. What you need to do is you need to go get Scott's, okay? You need to get the stuff they use in the gas station. Just a regular paper. Just paper. It's not, it's not hard, but just, you know, no frills, no prints, no dye. Paper, okay? Toilet paper. I mean, I'm just saying that's what I do, okay? You don't have to do it. It's what I do, all right? So after I wash my face, rinse everything off, I will dry my hands off with my towel, then I get the toilet paper, wipe it around, and just blot, 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 turn it, blot, blot, blot. And there's no, there's, I don't see anything. It is not on my face, okay? After that, what I do is I tone, and I still use Dickerson's Witch Hazel. Um, This does have some alcohol in it, um, but it works. I don't know. It works for me so far. I haven't noticed it um, drying out my skin at all. But I want to try some all natural toners. If you have any and can recommend any, let me know. I'll be um, happy to try them. Um, yeah, but for right now, this is doing good. It says oil free, all the good stuff anyway. Let's take a little pad. Okay, a little pad, a little cotton ball. I like the pads better. I'm using cotton balls because I ran out. Because the cotton balls will leave little traces. But, I mean, you know, use a little pads and just go across your face like so. I'm going to show you this new product. Did I bring it? Yes, I did. What I had to do is go to Clinique. And this is called Turnaround Concentrate um, Radiance Renewer. Okay, uh, this was about forty-seven dollars. Is what this was. I had no intentions on buying this. I went there. What was I there for? I forgot. I was there for something totally. Di I was there for SPF, I believe. Um, anyway, I wound up seeing this, and lady told me all this goodness and things that this is supposed to do. And basically, it just kind of exfoliates the top lid. Not. Fully the top layer of the skin, but it's like an exfoliator. It kind of smooths everything out and just gets rid of all the dead skin. My skin flakes often. It's just, 
it needs to be exfoliated more often than it did before. It seems that way. And you got to get the, um, the dead skin off because that's going to hold the dirt and bacteria. It's going to clog your pores and give you acne if you're acne prone have these issues. Anyway, um, use this twice a day. Um, this works really, really well. I'm loving it so far. I'm loving it so far. It's two squirts. And I just do a squirt at the bottom, squirt at the top. Stay away from your eyes. Stay clear away from your eyes, okay? Um, and then it's, it's just a soft... Um, almost, it feels almost like a primer. Um, yeah, and I think it has uh, some kind of dimethicone in here. But anyway, you're, I noticed a, a change in my skin. If you're, if you're wondering right now, I don't know if you can see. Um, I don't have on any foundation whatsoever. Um, not saying my skin's perfect again, but my skin's doing great, you guys. And it, it has a lot to do, in my opinion, with the black, so black soap and exfoliating. Okay, the black soap exfoliating and, of course, moisturizing. This is helping with the exfoliation and the overall balance of my skin. Not the balance, but it seems to help. Just with the texture of the skin, this helps. It seems to, I don't know, my, my face just looks a lot healthier, in my opinion, using this. 48 bucks. I don't know. Check it out. Check the reviews and see. This is just what I'm using. And it says aloe for life. It says nutrition for the skin, face and body lotion, maximum daily protection, age defined. So here this is here. Okay. I'll probably have to zoom in. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Probably have to zoom in so that you can see. Um, get my tilt. Uh, no water added. Vegetarian, cruelty free. Um, yeah, so I've been liking this. It wasn't that much. I believe I got this from um, like one of the Whole Foods stores. Whole Foods stores, and I believe it was around six or five or six bucks. So it wasn't bad. Um, yeah, and I like it. I like it a lot. It has a nice soft. Soft little scent, you can barely smell anything. I mean, so anyway, I like that. Don't use anything like this without having something that's gonna protect your face and neck and things from the skin, from the skin, from the sun. And so what I found, and I've been using this, and I like it. Um, I haven't been using it long, so so far so good. But it's it's a new product by Neutrogena. It's called Clear Face Breakout Free. It says liquid liquid lotion sunblock SPF of 30. Okay, and this is for us sensitive gals or gentlemen. I have this issue, like sunscreen, oh my gosh, it breaks me out terribly. I could, it's very or, or if it doesn't break me out, it'll give me the um, white, ghostly, purple face. I just want to look natural. But anyway, um, so far, so good. Got on the day. Got on the day. You can barely see any. I mean, this is, I was impressed. So far, so good with this. It says, won't cause breakouts, ultralight, oil-free, and waterproof. Uh, number one, dermatologist recommended sun care. So, and again, SPF of 30. I like it so far. I like it so far. So, yeah. That is what I do, and that is all. That is my skincare routine. That is what I do every day, twice a day. This, this regimen works for me. Like I said, I may alter. I may find um, some new things and introduce them to you, let you know what I'm using, see if there's something that, um, you know, uh, you guys will be interested in. Um, if not, if y'all have anything, let me know. Any new products y'all found that are working? Um, especially around this eye area. That's what my concern is right now. Like, you know. I mean, it's fine, but it's coming. It's coming. I'm trying to stop it. It's coming. I'm stopping it. I'm going to stop it. I ain't having it. Well, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.